Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Hey everybody, Todd Hinson here, and this week we're gonna go ahead and cover, we got a special guest for you. This is Rob Boyer from Alliance. Yes, Alliance RV, he's here with us, and we're gonna talk about some of the, I wouldn't say concerns, but hey, let's go ahead and talk 12 volt refrigerators. Yeah, 12 volt refrigerators. So we have the 12 volt refrigerators in our toy haulers, our Valor, and uh, the thing is, uh, it's really, really great. We pair that with our lithium batteries, and but there is some things with 12 volt refrigerators that uh, you want to be concerned about. Yeah. So part of the the part of the problem we have is actually consumer awareness, right? Because of course, you know, I, I've told you, don't drive with the propane on. Right. We can switch over to the 12 volt. Well, I think part of the issue that we have with the 12 volt is our awareness of our batteries. That there has to be a, a charge on those batteries in order to get us down the road. Absolutely. Those refrigerators. What are what do you think are some of the concerns just with a low battery? Well, yeah, and that's uh, that's one of the main concerns is having a low battery because that can cause all kinds of issues. So the refrigerator requires a minimum amount of voltage. That's why we pair it with a lithium battery mm -hmm. and solar panels from the factory. So we kind of take that out of the the loop for uh, an issue at Alliance. So right. uh, one of the main issues. And just quickly, let's go ahead and talk about just quickly the difference between say a regular lead acid battery and a lithium battery. With a lead acid battery, as it um, as the state of charge decreases, the voltage decreases. And yes, while some things will still run after we get down below that 12 volt threshold, which by the way is only 50% charged, once we get down to 11 volts, Watt's law kicks in. The volts lower, the amps increase. Well, if the amps increase, that's where we have problems, yes. right? Overloads the cable, overloads our circuit board, may actually blow the fuse. Mm -hmm. But with lithium batteries, what Alliance has done is they said, well, let's go with the lithium battery because it's a constant discharge. So in other words, it stays at that 13.2 all the way through till about 90, 95% discharge, then yep. it finally tails off. Yep. Right. So that's a huge plus. A lot of those out there, when we're looking at and we have the 12 volt, I know there's concern. Anytime you have first generation of stuff, mm -hmm. there's these bugs that we got to figure out. Alliance is already jumping on, you know, with this and saying, hey, look, we know this is happening. Let's throw in a lithium battery and let's take care of that. And we'll provide solar as you're going down the road. It's still getting some type of charge. It is. Yeah. And we, we also pay attention to little things like we hear from our uh, techs out in, on the field about just making sure it has the right uh, cabling and stuff like that. So we make make sure yeah. we look in the factactory, make sure it has the right gauge wire so it's getting yep. around the right amount of current. To the refrigerator so it runs properly. So. That's true because they may look at this and we all know that distance is resistance, right? You all look at that. I mean, I, I'm that way. Yeah. I got to walk that far. No, I'm resistant to that. I know. It's right? all the way over there. That's way over there, right? <laughs> so when we're looking at the difference of, of the location of our battery to our uh, refrigerator, that's a long distance. And a lot of, I'm not saying, I'm not picking on other OEMs, but they may right. not have considered that distance and actually go in with a larger uh, size wire. Lower gauge, larger size wire. There you go. Right, you guys have already done that. So, you know, on our tech tip, this is what we're covering. Yes, the 12 volt, some of you have asked, hey, let's, you know, cover some of the 12 volt refrigerators. That's great, mm -hmm. can go down the road, not using propane, well, that's awesome. But there's some things that we need to look at. As consumers, we need to be aware that that battery needs to be full charged, right? Because the lower the volts, the higher the amps, we can overload the system. That's right. Right. Alliance has already done their part by, of course, putting in lithium batteries and solar panels, but we still need to have that awareness but guys, we got to watch those batteries, got to make sure that we got a full charge, you know, so that way we're not causing problems with our refrigerator. Absolutely. All right. Well, that's that's, take that's about as much as I got. You know. Yeah, that's that's Be pretty good. It, it's pretty, uh, that refrigerator is, you know, low, low maintenance. I mean, it works. It's great. It's great for boondocking. So, right. And it just enhance that customer experience. If you want to be able to fix the majority of the problems on your ring, but let's say you want to open up a business, become a certified inspector or a certified RV technician, head over to our website at nrvta.com, click on programs, and get started today. You know what I found? Amazon now you can like actually order the, the shoes. Right. Send them to you, try them on. Don't like them, send them back. Um, we were waiting on a tech tip. When we yep. switch over from you know, our regular absorption style refrigerators are, haha, <laughs> yeah, but can it hold a full turkey? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. 17 cubic feet. Uh, oh, look. Alliance and NRVTA coming together. I wonder how long I can do this. <laughs> how tall are you? I'm only 6'3". How tall are you? 6'4". Does it look straight? I was, I was 6'4". When we switch over from our 
12. Hmm. Well, it's always better. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you so, want to do Thanksgiving. <laughs> how, how long can uh, can that fridge go if it's cloudy out? And you got All that night long. Battery? Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, well, our, our, our base system comes with one lithium battery, so you, you probably want to watch it. But uh, our, our Solar Plus comes with three lithium batteries and a converter. So, yep. I mean, um, if it's, we're talking just the refrigerator you're worried about, it can, can what go are we for a while. What about 400 watts, depending on the size? Yeah, yeah, about All that. Right, so 400 watts divided by 12 volts. There you go, it's math. 33.3. So 400 watts divided by 12 volts is 33. Three? Yeah, 33.3, yeah. Three, yeah. There you go. Just, you know, infinity Quick with a little thing there, yeah. So we're looking at 33 amps. That we're pulling at 12 volts. Yep. Right. So three. Just around three hours. Just around yeah. three hours is what we can pull on that thing yeah. without help from the solar. Yeah. Most people, we, we start you out with one. People usually wind up adding adding a few, increase that uh, that capability and that experience. Which you can do with lead acid, or which you, which you can't do with lead acid. Right. Right. And it's true because with lithium batteries, they've got that flat discharge. You can add a battery later on, unlike the lithium uh, lead acid batteries. Yeah. You got to. Like kind, you got to go with it. We find a lot of our customers just add one on, just you know, depending yeah. on what they what their experience is, if they're doing a lot of boondocking or not. You got space for three, or after three, do we got to move the bay? Oh no, this the bay in there for the uh, on the Valor, you can put probably six in there easily. 